Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you the new document window in Photoshop CC 2017. So if you've used previous versions of Photoshop, you might notice that visually speaking this is quite different than what was previously there. Uh, now it's got more of a black grid theme that overall I personally like. We can tab through the different, well, tabs here, and see that there are many different document presets categorized by what kind of artwork you're working on. So art and illustration might be more for if you're going to go and create something, an illustration that goes on a poster. Uh, whereas film and video will give you preset document sizes that would be good for things like a YouTube thumbnail, obviously. A category I'm going to be using a lot personally. Uh, so back on the recent tab, which is what it defaults to, you'll notice that it gives you the presets that you've used in recent documents. It just automatically adds one here. But if you want to save one permanently to the saved tab, what you would click is over here, there's a save button. Uh, once you've defined what the preset should be, you give it a save document preset name and hit save preset. So as for the actual settings you have going and creating a new document, you have a few key ones over here, including width and height, which you can see is by default measured in inches, at least the USA version is, uh, maybe it's centimeters and uh, European version of the app, but you can set it to whatever you need. If you're going to be working on web content specifically, you might want to change that to pixels, but you can change it as you need. Orientation, whether it should be landscape wider than it is taller, or portrait orientation, which makes it taller than it is wider. And you'll notice as I go between those two that it swaps the width and the height around. We can, of course, um, modify the values in each of those fields as we need. Now, artboards are a pretty cool new feature of CC 2017 that we're going to be talking about when you have artboards checked. It allows you to have effectively multiple documents within the same document because you will see each individual artboard as the width and height that that document preset contains, but you can add extra artboards to your document. And in that way, you can have two, three, even four canvases in the same Photoshop document. The resolution, which is measured in pixels by inch in default or pixels per centimeter, uh, by default, it's set to 300, which is actually quite high. In most cases, that's going to be enough for all but the most highly detailed art. Um, and what, what this is actually measuring isn't the pixel resolution, but when you take your document and you print it out to something like a note card or a poster, it's going to be, in this case, 300 pixels for every inch on that physical item. So this only matters when you're actually putting it on a physical item. Otherwise, for things that are just cyberspace related, viewing a file on your computer, it's the width and height that you care about. Color mode, which defaults to RGB color, allows you to set the bit depth of that color. 8-bit should be fine for most cases. If we do click on the color mode here, you'll notice that while we have artboards checked, we're only allowed to set it to RGB color. But if we leave that unchecked, we have other modes available to us, including bitmap, grayscale, uh, CMYK color, which I believe is cyan, magenta, yellow, and I uh, can't remember the fourth one off, off the top of the head, and lab color. Background contents is what you set the default background color to, so white or black are going to be your most common options, but you can also choose an alternative background color. If you want that to be errata or magenta, you can just click on the color, set a color in the color picker, and that'll be the default color for the background. For now, we'll go ahead and leave the advanced options alone here and just go ahead and create a document. So that's going to be it for creating new documents inside of Photoshop. In future videos, we'll be diving into the interface and all of the cool features that are available to you in Photoshop CC 2017. So for this video, I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my future content.